What is that, boys? It's the king of cash flow. Back at it again. I'm going to show you a real deal. This is on paper, signed, done. It's been on the go for a couple months now. These are the real numbers. So straight up, we bought this place. It's a 50-50 deal partnership I got with a buddy of mine. We, uh, we went in on it. Uh, it was his first one. And I convinced him to get in on this property. Um, and he and he did it and he, and now he's got three <laughs> uh and I'll, I'll hopefully he comes and does an interview one day and kind of gives you the spiel how it was working with me and kind of learning the stuff but that's for another one so we initially bought this place we negotiated the sale price for nineteen thousand dollars i've got a full walk through that i did on video the whole renovation process like i got the whole thing captured for this one so you'll see the whole nine yards on it <clears throat> Nineteen thousand sale price our carrying costs were about our carrying costs, labor, material was about ten grand. So we done a lot of the work ourselves, which saved on labor. So the carrying costs are like utilities, lot fees, and then labor material. We, we had we redone the roof with shingles. We did the whole thing inside with flooring, paint, and everything. It was uh, it was a good one. Um, I'm trying to get out of the labor side of things. I'd rather have somebody else do that, and I focus on getting more deals, running numbers, managing it, but. I'll throw the tools on if I got to, no worries. So we're in for 29,000 cash. 29,000 cash is what we're in for. We've got, we signed the deal, rent to own. We signed it for a 70,000 sale price and that was a reduced price negotiating that they're gonna do the siding because we, we, we still wanted to do the siding and the skirting on that one. Um, but we negotiated it in and this is the thing you guys can negotiate anything in these contracts like however creative you can get like the most creative person wins because I'm coming up with crazy stuff man trying to and you know what what's the worst thing they say no I mean you can't lose right so we negotiated the siding we were gonna do the skirting and then I actually ended up knocking off fifteen hundred dollars rent like the third, second or third month in to do the skirting because I just don't want to do it anymore, right? I will if I got to, but if I can negotiate it or pass it off to somebody else, uh, I'll owe you a little bit of cost, but when you run the numbers, there's lots of room for that. She put down, or the couple, their family, they put down 5,000 cash. So anytime you do a rent to own deal, if you can get somebody to put like 5,000 cash or more, you know they're serious. Who's gonna walk, like it's non-refundable. Who's gonna walk away from five grand? like? So the agreement was fifteen fifty a month is the monthly rent. Five hundred goes to the pot. So that equals eighteen thousand six hundred a year, of which six thousand goes to the pot. So my expenses, the lot fee in this park's five twelve. They will increase a little bit, but that's in the lease agreement. They have to cover that increase. You pass that off to the tenant. And I gave her both options. Like I'm the most reasonable person you'll find when you're dealing with this stuff. Like you bring me what you think it should be and I'll make the numbers work on my end. Like if you can't come up with money, then it's gonna be a higher sale price. If you have a lower monthly rent, then it's not gonna be a low pot money. Like what's the most you can pay without putting yourself out? Like I, I just, I negotiated all around my, my tenant's circumstances. So We've got our expenses, 512 a month, a month that's 6144 a year. About 400 a year insurance, 400 a year property taxes. So our expenses for the year, 6944. We do not cover anything else. The property tax attendance pays any maintenance, anything, anything to do with that house, it's their house. They cover everything, that's it. These are my only expenses. Unless she leaves and then I have to go evict them and then I get to keep all that pot money and the down payment and everything. So there's money there to cover evictions and, and whatever fixes need to be done. But they're a great couple and they, they're going to own it. Um, and when I do it too, I, I always have in there, if they want to pay extra each month or at the end of the year, tax time, Christmas, whatever, no penalty. It just goes right onto the principal. So maybe they pay it off sooner. And I don't care, pay it off. I'd rather you pay it off. I wanna see people succeed. And during this whole process, I'm gonna be buying more with the income that comes in anyway. So it's a win-win. If, if they leave, you do get to keep all that money. And I see some landlords, like they try to swindle, getting their, you know, halfway through their lease. If it's a 10 year lease and five years, they're trying to get them out and trying to like, if I see y'all smack you, buddy, cause this ain't how this works. You, you give, you make the deal, work for them. And whenever they are late on rent, give them a break or like, Anyway, so you got 
6944 a year in expenses. My income per year from their rent is 18,600 equaling 11,656 pre-tax cash flow. My pre-tax cash flow for the year is 11,600 $11, dollars. That's huge. This is a mobile. We put in not even 30,000 and this is high. I can do I can bring in numbers lower than this and have close to these numbers. Like this is pretty high, maybe around 8, but this is ridiculous. 12 grand a year almost. People make that on their on their wage, man. So when you do the numbers, 500 to the pot divided by the 65,000 cuz you minus your 5,000 deposit uh, down payment, 65 owed divided by 500 going into that's 130 months 10.8 years 10.8 years they're going to have a lease on this thing i got mortgages with 30 years on it 10 years is, is nothing you guys are going to own something after 10 years you're going to pay the rent anyway you might be paying a little bit less rent and then you might be paying like you know some maintenance and stuff on this whereas you were if you weren't renting but you're going to own the thing you can take this mobile pick it up put it on a piece of property later on and I'm actually just looking at this right now, realizing property tax. I think I even have that included in the lease, but I'll just show you this number for the, cause I got the numbers written out and it might not be the case, but yeah, like throw the property tax in there too. Like it's their property, right? So I'm looking at 11,600 cash flow a year. She's gonna do 10.8. Our, our pre-tax cash flow is 11,656. And you're gonna multiply that by 10.8 years. You're gonna have this thing for 10.8 years, and you're gonna make 11,600 a year. You're gonna equal out to 125,884 dollars, 125 grand plus your five grand down payment, 130,000 dollar return, 130,000 dollar return in 10 years from 30,000 bucks. That's a f over a 400% return. You got an annual cash flow of 11,600. So your first year, you're gonna get 16 grand because you got your 5,000 down payment. And then the next year, 11,000. So you're pretty much two years, you got your money back. And then every year after that, you get 11,600. That This year, I could buy a mobile every single year for the next nine years. Body, like, what? What else do you want? Like this is, I, I understand the initial injection of cash is high. So that's why I'm showing other deals where I went in on 7,500 cash and you know, I, I paid 20,000 for it, but I put 7,500 down and then I rented on the other 12,5. I rented to own it 12,500 remaining on the, on the bill but I averaged that out over a monthly payment where if I had a tenant in there, the tenant's payments would cover it. So I really am only in for 7,500 plus any maintenance and, re and repairs and shit. The numbers are, it's absurd not to do this. I mean, I get it. It's a mobile home, I guess in a park, like what's the stigma on that? Or like find me a better investment. Like I've done stocks, so I'm doing Bitcoin. Like I own houses and triplex and stuff. And yeah, you get equity pay down and stuff, but show me a return, 420% return, two years you're paid back, 10 years, 11 years you're getting, it's just, oh my God, it gives me a headache that not everybody's doing it. And anyway, there's, there's another deal for you. Peace out.